everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to day eight of my holiday card series. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm playing with the Deco Trees die set from Simon Says Stamp. It comes with this really cool looking tree and it also comes with a great sentiment. So no stamping today. And I'm going to use the Gina K cardstock collection. This is the 2018 add-on collection. And I so love these colors. So I went ahead and trimmed everything down and I'm using coral wreath, key lime, and sea glass. All right, so for the card, we're just gonna be doing die cutting today. No stamping, you guys. So I'm placing that beautiful tree down on that coral wreath paper, and I wanna make sure to cut these trees out twice. So I'm gonna run this through my Gemini machine, and then I'm going to flip over that tree and get another cut right out of it. So I wanna save and preserve as much of this paper as I can, <laughs> cause it's just so pretty. Now, since I have all of them cut out, every single color, you're gonna see when you cut out these trees, they're attached to the paper, like an inlay. So in order to get them to be released from that, all you need to do is take a pair of scissors and cut where the tree match up with the paper. Now you could do this design and just have it on the cardstock itself and it would make a beautiful card. But I want to take my trees apart so I can have three separate colors onto a card panel. So you can see it's very, very easy to cut it out. And if you want it to, you could save that tree inlay per se, and just cut out the uh, pieces that are still stuck to it and use it as a stencil. So anytime you're doing something like this and you have a design that's left, trim, do trim off what you don't need and turn it into a stencil. It's a great way to use that paper that's left over. All right, now I'm just going to grab a pokey tool to go ahead and get this cut out. But like I said, hold on to that paper. You could use it again for a different card. All you have to do is pick apart the pieces that are still attached. Very, very simple to do. So like I said, I'm gonna grab my pokey tool and I'm just poking out the pieces that are still wrapped around those spiral designs. Now, since I have all of my beautiful colors cut out, I did cut two, like I said, because I want some dimension on this. To put these two trees together, or to stack them rather, I'm going to use my Gina K Connect glue. This has become like my all time favorite glue, you guys. It's really, really easy to use in this pin form, and it makes it perfect when you have to do a little bit of maneuvering around delicate pieces. This glue is fantastic for that. So as you can see, I'm just going around the little spirals and up the tree, and it's super easy to stack these. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip. When you go to stack this, leave it down on your craft mat. It's so much easier to line up that way. Once you have everything lined up, then you can go ahead and pick up your tree and kind of move the pieces around. But keeping that initial tree down on the mat is a super easy way to get everything lined up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the rest of these trees together since it's very easy to do. Now, since I have it all cut out, I went ahead and I cut out the sentiment as well in some sparkly silver glitter paper, but I did back it a few times in black cardstock so I can give it a little bit of weight. Now, this sentiment is very thin, so if you are going to put it on a card, I would recommend that you give it a little bit more weight by die cutting some extra pieces to go behind your top piece. It really does make a difference and it helps to allow that sentiment to kind of pop up off the card. Now, since I have some of that Connect Glue, again, on this um, tree, I can go ahead and start lining up the trees on how I want them to lay down on my card. So I'm going to start with the green, which is this key lime color. And I'm making sure just to kind of space this out, just eyeballing it, 
to make sure that all of my trees are going to fit on this paper. Now I do want one of my trees, which is the red one, to kind of be popped up in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting down the blue one. And then for that red one, I decided to add one more little layer to it off camera so it can rise up just a tad bit from the green in that pretty sea glass color. So I'll go ahead and finish that up, pop that one down, and then I can put on that last tree. Now, like I said, this one has just one more layer just so it rises above because you're gonna see I'm gonna stack them kind of on top of each other. The blue and the green is kind of overlaid with the red, so I needed to give it a little bit more height. Now for that very delicate sentiment, I don't want to use the Gina K pen. I'm going to go back and use my multi-matte medium because the uh, tube on the top or the nozzle on the top is a lot thinner and it's going to help me get into these little tiny lines without having a lot of excess glue all over this beautiful sentiment and all over my card. So it's a super easy way if you just switch out your preference of your medium to get this down. Now I want to thank everybody who has been watching my videos so far. We have a couple more to go before this holiday card series is over with, but I'm going to have a little bit of a surprise in the last video. So make sure to comment on all the videos that you see here. So when I make that little bit of announcement, you might be winning a little bit of something something to get your holidays off started right. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish up putting down that multi matte medium on the back of that little Christmas. And I don't wanna go really fancy with this card today. I want it to be clean and simple. And like I said, I didn't wanna add any stamping to this, but just using those beautiful trees in different colors really makes a statement card without having to do a lot of fuss. Look how gorgeous that looks. So I'm just gonna straighten that up and then go ahead and press everything down with the palm of my hand so I know that everything is adhered to this card base. All right, now I have a regular A2 size card and I'm just going to put this top panel right on top. Now the card base is Nina Solar White 110 pound. As you guys know, my favorite card base. And I can just line this up. I'm not gonna back it with anything else and I'm really not gonna put anything else on the card. I really want these beautiful deco trees to really make the impact on this card. So I can go ahead and press everything down and voila, we have a beautiful Christmas card. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And we will be back to day number nine soon. I will see you guys then. Remember, stay blessed and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.